Political leaders from the Southwest Geopolitical Zone on Sunday continued with their moves to present a common front ahead of the presidential primary of the ruling All Progressive Congress APC slated for Tuesday. Promoters of the consensus move in the Southwest, including former APC Chairman Chief B.C. Akande and former Ogun State Governor Olushegu Oshoba, had met with aspirants at the residence of Chief Oshoba. The meeting, which was attended by the aspirants from the Southwest, governors and elders of the region, ended without them reaching a consensus. The duo of Akande and Oshoba had last month met with the aspirants in Lagos, where it was gathered that they should conduct their electioneering campaigns devoid of hostility, free of rancor and in amicable manner. President Muhammad Buhari had on Saturday urged presidential aspirants of the APC to consult, build consensus and come up with a formidable candidate ahead of the party's presidential primary. The directive of the president came around the same time when northern governors asked him to source for his successor from the southern part of the country. The president's consultations continued yesterday with the National Advisory Council of the party. The meeting held at the State House, Abuja, was attended by Osibanjo, Senate President Ahmed Lawan, Akande, his successor, Chief John Odige Oyegu, the APC National Chairman, Senator Abdullahi Adamu, National Secretary Iola Omishere, and some governors, including those of Bornu, Babagana, Zulong, Pletu, Simon Lanlong, Zamfara, Belo. Matawale and David Umayi of Ebony State. In a statement last night by his spokesperson, Femi Adeshina, Buhari had appraised the series of consultations held so far towards getting a widely acceptable presidential standard bearer and said they were on the way towards winning their third straight victory since 2015. The president said, I'm optimistic that the outcome of this consultation with the National Advisory Council will, in addition to shaping our focus, help to fortify the positive democratic principles, practices, and culture that already exist within the party system. In the course of these consultative processes, I have already met separately with the progressive governors and with our eminent members who are aspiring to become the presidential flag bearer for our party during the 2023 elections. I'm pleased to inform you that those meetings have been fruitful and indicative of a party that is prepared and marching towards a third straight victory since 2015 at the presidential polls. Daily Trust learned that the meeting was conveying to consider the possibility of coming up with a consensus presidential candidate among the 23 aspirants. Multiple sources told our correspondents that while the meeting was ongoing yesterday, the duo of Osibanjo and Tinubu were not ready to shift grounds as they have continued to intensify their consultations and engagement with delegates. The aspirants from the Southwest region include Vice President Yemi Osibanjo, National Leader of the All Progressive Congress, Bola Tinubu, former Speaker of the House of Representatives, Dimeji Bankole, Ekiti State Governor Kayode Faemi, Ogun State Governor Chief Dakbo Abiodun, Senator Robert Ajaibo Rufis, and Pastor Tunde Bakari. Sources said while some of the aspirants were ready to shift grounds, Usibanjo and Asiwaju are not. We expect both Asiwaju and VP to slog it out as efforts to persuade one of them to step down have not yielded results as of now. A source who does not want to be named hinted. The duo of Akande and Oshoba, who have been making efforts to arrive at a consensus among aspirants from the Southwest, have rejected several efforts to comment on the move. The director of media and communications, Tinubu Campaign Organization, Bayo Onanuga, said the party is looking forward to a free and fair contest at the convention. We are going into a convention for a free and fair contest. Everybody is looking out for a delegate's election, he said. Meanwhile, mixed reactions have continued to trail the statements of the northern governors across the country. While they are being applauded in the south, their action is receiving condemnation in some quarters in the north. 
The leadership of Uhanese in Digbo Worldwide yesterday said that they are called to cede the presidential ticket to the southern region by the ruling party was a true demonstration that the party had the concept of national unity than the PDP. The Apex Social Cultural Group, however, reminded the leadership of APC, Mr. President and the stakeholders of the need to choose the presidential aspirant of Igbo extraction, noting that one of their sons in the person of the former Minister of Science and Technology, Dr. Ogunaya Onu, was the first to conceive and bear what today is known and called APC. Secretary General of Ohaneze Indigo Worldwide, Mazi Okechuku Isugoro, made this known while briefing journalists at the end of their meeting held in Abakaliki on Sunday. We shall forever be grateful, as said earlier, to Mr. President and another governors, including the leadership of the party, for yielding to the voices of Nigerians, he said. However, the coalition of northern groups, CNG, expressed displeasure with the northern governors describing what they did as treacherous. The group spokesperson, Abdulaziz Suleiman, in a statement said the decision was also clearly a brazen breach of the standard democratic practice by what he called the selfish northern governors who see power as an end in itself. He said, for the APC governors from the north to take such a weighty decision at the expense of the collective interest and future of the north amounts to arbitrary treachery and blatant abuse of privilege. The move, aimed mainly at serving the vice presidential ambitions of the state governors, without minding its unforeseen consequences on the future of the larger population of the north, is not only undemocratic but a betrayer of the region's past leaders who toiled and paid with their lives to ensure a strong, prosperous region, he said. Similarly, a coalition of northern youth groups under APC has disagreed with the decision of the governors, insisting that the presidency should be retained in their zone. The youth groups, APC Progressive Youth Element and Northeast Youth Forum of APC, stage protests carrying placards with inscriptions such as, It's North or Nothing. We are not in support of power shift to South. We will not accept the decision of 11 governors. It is in their selfish interest. The president of APC Progressive Youth Elements, Alamin Bala Medagu, said that it is not time for the South to rule the country. On his part, the leader of the APC Northeast Youth Forum, Ibrahim Hashim Abdullahi, alleged that the governors opted for such an option so that one of them would benefit from being picked as vice president.